What is behind coronavirus? Speak. Speak in the name of Jesus, my Lord. Jesus, my Lord. And where did that come from? Our little, little, little village. Village where Demo? Far, far, far east. Far, far, far east. Where is that? Coming up. Faith healer, prophet, and servant of Christ, Ed Citronelli, finds out the real source of the coronavirus by beating it out of a demon-possessed grandmother. <laughs> so, stay tuned for that big reveal. I promise you it's not a letdown. <laughs> it is. First, I just need to take a brief moment to talk about something a little more serious that's been weighing on my heart lately. I know it's affecting people all around the globe. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about demon penis. Aura sex demo. You see aura sex. Look aura sex. Look, 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 look. A demon came with his penis and put it in my mouth. If I had a nickel for every time a demon came with his penis and put it in my mouth, I would have 45 cents exactly. It's happened to me nine times. I've been keeping very close track. He came again and he slept with me last week and I, I told the, the pastor that I need deliverance again. And since then, my private part has been itching. It's been itching? Yes. How do you even sleep at night knowing that there's demons out there just scooting around, rolling up on beautiful young ladies just like this, clapping cheeks and leaving behind a little chlamydia surprise? I'll tell you how I sleep. It's because I know that while you're sitting around playing video games, watching Netflix, Netflix and crying about politics on Twitter, Ed Citronelli is out here fighting the good fight. The fight against demon penis. Who are you? Ah! Who are you? Ah! Speak! Ah! Who are you? Hello everybody and welcome back to an awkward voicemail that your mother left you after accidentally washing down prescription Xanax with three glasses of Pinot Grigio. My name's Leon Lush, I do appreciate you being here with me today. It's no secret at this point that I am mildly obsessed, maybe to a fault, with prosperity preachers and or faith healers. Peter Popoff and his miracle spring water. Now walk in the name of Jesus. Walk and look at, there he goes. There he goes! Oh my god, the goat, Kenny Copeland. I execute judgment on you, COVID-19! And now there's Ed Citronelli Ministries, who just in a short period of time has rocketed up into my top three prosperity faith healer preachers, which is not easy to do. And I have to say, I'm embarrassed because this guy's been around for years and years. He's got hundreds of hours of insane and hilarious content, and I just now discovered who he was. Some people enjoy comedy flicks, other people, like myself, prefer to get their kicks watching insane rich people take low IQ individuals for a ride in this sort of WWE performance slash church hybrid crossover uh, in the name of Jesus. So let's get right to it. Uh, but before we do, I need to spin around in this chair real quick. <laughs> you thought I was transitioning to a sponsor. No, no, I just wanted to spin in the chair, but uh, now we're gonna go, now we're doing the sponsor. How do I put this? Cable companies suck. They've been gouging us for decades. They nickel and dime us with their taxes and fees. And every couple of months, the bill inexplicably goes up. And when you try to find out why you can't, because it's impossible to get an actual human being on the phone. That's why thousands of people continue to cut the cord and turn to streaming services like Fubo TV for a better programming experience. Fubo TV stomps on your cable company by offering over a hundred of your favorite channels, including complete coverage of your favorite sports and local broadcast networks, all at about half the price of traditional cable. You can still record your favorite games and shows, the interface is intuitive, and you know exactly what you're paying for, unlike with your monopolized cable company. As a football fanatic, I love that it comes with Red Zone and NFL Network, and it just all feels very organized, so it's easy to find whatever shows or whatever movies you're trying to watch. It only takes two minutes to sign up and start streaming the channels you love, and by the way, you no longer have to rent a cable box. Bonus! There's no risk to trying it out. You get a seven-day free trial and 15% off your first month if you sign up using my link in the description. That's fubotv.com slash Leon Lush. They even email you when your trial's almost up, so you don't pay if it's not for you. So head to fubotv.com slash Leon Lush to get your trial started today and tell your cable company to go kick rocks, courtesy of myself. I appreciate you. So my man Eddie Sitch is no stranger to the hustle. And not just the Bible thumping charlatan bit he's doing as his day job, the YouTube hustle. I mean, this dude is pumping out content. He's got videos over a million views. He's doing exorcisms. He's got four and a half hour live streams, sermons, you name it. He's got a live stream going on right now. And let's check it out. If you're gonna make out a check, you can make it out to World Healing 
International or Ed Citronelli Ministries is the same thing. This is, this is I perfect. Know some of you, you need a big pen because you're writing a big check. There you go. Seven millionaires will come out of this church. Seven millionaires. Seven millionaires. There will be 25 people that are in debt right now. That before the year is over, your debt will begin to decrease, 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 <laughs> decrease, decrease. Am I talking to people, to people of faith here? Am I speaking? I could not have asked for a better live stream to click on. He's already asking people to write checks because they're going to eventually be millionaires if they send money to his church. So, such a chef's kiss. Listen, I may have some questions about Eddie Citronelli. But I will not question this man's work ethic. I mean, look at the amount of content he's putting out. This man is hustling. People mostly. He's hustling people, but it's but it's a hustle still. Come out from the front. Come out. In case you can't see that, he's spritzing holy water on her um, labia lips. So this is one of his more popular videos. You know, it's, uh, it's a year old, a little more than a year old. And you may have seen it before because it made the rounds probably a, a year or two ago. With good reason. I mean, this is, this is a technical masterpiece, the way this video is executed. What happened to you today? So you prayed for, you delivered me today. And then when I went to the bathroom, I think 15 minutes later, uh, some white stuff came out with, with the blood after you sprayed. Oh, come on, somebody. After I spray with the water. Yes. After I spray, something yeah. came out white. Yeah. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. May your healing and deliverance be permanent in Jesus' name. Come on and give the glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Let me just translate for you what happened. A demon came to her house, cream pied her, and then he spritzed holy water on her pussy, pussy. and it extracted the cream pie back out. In the name of Jesus. Quentin Tarantino himself could not come up with a plot so poignant. So if you woke up today and like many other people around the world were thinking to yourself, what does it sound like when a demon gets sucked out of a woman's vaginal canal? <laughs> now you know. <laughs> there it is. So that video instantly put Ed in contention for one of my top three spots for favorite prosperity preachers. And I'm pretty sure He's there, uh, but let's keep moving forward to see what other bangers uh, he has in store for us. Oh, these Christians! These Christians these days! <laughs> oh, they do is play in the house of God! Holy and shit! this is why we rule and reign! All the doorway! <laughs> First of all, did this man get Hans Zimmer to write the score for his introduction? Because that shit is fire. We're not even past the intro and I'm already feeling the strength of Jesus. That might actually be the Michael Bay introduction, but it's I think it's Jesus. And what did you come to do here? Uh, kill her! You want to kill this one? You want to kill this one? You say you want to kill this one? Huh? Ah! Why you want to kill this one? Ah, she's mine! She's yours! I will not die! You don't want to die? I don't think it can be overstated how impressed I am with how committed to the role these actors and actresses are. Like, she is selling the farm for this bit. <laughs> I would love to know what kind of coin he's coughing up to get performances of this caliber or if he's just sending his staff out to local asylums to find some people that could do it for free. Just, I don't, I'm never gonna know the behind the scenes and I wish that and I the did. The Lord said to me, whoever sin I remit, they are remitted. Let her sin, Father, be remitted now. This woman's looking banged and up. whose name? <laughs> Let her sin You be think I'm afraid of that now. name? The name above every name? In the name of ah. Jesus. Jesus. Let her go. Here she goes. Oh, no, she's not. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh. Let the power of God now descend. I mean, I knew Lucifer was bad, but I didn't know he was a ninja. <laughs> Two. Three. What are my tricks? You always want to count, and you think I'm coming out. I don't come out unless I want to. Unless you want to. Oh. You're stronger than Jesus. Yes. Uh, yes, I am. Spoiler alert. She is not stronger than Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, she's barrel rolling. She's barrel rolling. She rolled that bitch right up on out of there. And just like that, Citronelli and Jesus with another W. Lucifer didn't stand a chance. People on TV. I fucking love myself. Doubted this man. You better know. Kingdom of hell, you better watch out. And this man right here, you better not mess with him. Because uh -uh. he is a child of God. He has come for this time. Self-proclaimed prophet. Put your hands together again for the master. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Somebody shout hallelujah. This sent chills over my entire body. Praise Jesus. A lot of positive affirmation in these comments. But a few more skeptical like myself. I would love for Jesus to come back to earth and slap all every one of you for even mentioning his name as part of this show. Business is business, I guess. This brought tears to my eyes. Were they tears of laughter? Because me too. So catching up now to this year's pandemic era, still pumping out content, that little clip I showed at the beginning of him like asking this grandma possessed by a demon where the coronavirus came from, figured we'd try and finish that one off. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Speak out, you demon that has been tormenting this woman. Your time is up and your time has come to expire. So that goes on for like 10 minutes, so I'm going to skip that and get to the COVID stuff here. Reveal! And what is the agenda of Satan with coronavirus? Speak! There we go. I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Oh, you don't want to reveal. Liar. You will reveal it here today. You will reveal it. Gee, that was a healthy slap. Christ Check almighty. Out. Reveal the coronavirus agenda. Speak. Or kill people. And where did that come from? Speak. He's like beating the piss out of this old woman. But I mean, technically right now, it's Satan. So it's cool, but it still feels a little strange uh, looking from the outside in. Who is behind coronavirus? Some people. Okay. Don't give me parable. Speak clear. They do something to make people sick. And who are they working for? They're working for demon. <laughs> okay. Stand up like a demon and fight now. All right, so I cut a large part of that out because it dragged on forever, but he asked her who's behind the coronavirus, and she said, some people. And he said, who do some people report to? And she said, a demon. And that, and that was that, that was it. That was the shocking, can this be behind the coronavirus? So I'm a faithful servant of Ed Citronelli Ministries, and I'm trying to figure out who the hell's behind coronavirus, and all I learned is that it's some people that are being controlled by a demon. Come on, Ed. Give me names, Ed. If you can pull Lucifer out of a fucking fallopian tube, you can find out who, what, how the coronavirus was created, right? Or can you, or is Chasis not able to tell you that? He can just tell you everything else, you dumb fuck. Anyways, he goes on to kill her, sprays her with some, uh, spritzes her with some holy Joy semen, and then, your uh, life. the usual. May your deliverance be permanent in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody! So I think it's pretty self-evident why Ed has quickly risen to be one of my top three favorite faith healers. High energy, absolutely absurd, and when he says Jesus, it almost sounds like he's saying Cheez-Its. And I fucking love Cheez-Its, one of my favorite snacks of all time. So after all that, it sounds like a demon is what's behind the coronavirus. Maybe not the reveal we were looking for, but it's tough to argue with Ed Citronelli's logic and facts. Listen, uh, I've been streaming lately for any of you guys that have been fans of the channel for a long time. Uh, I stream one to two times a week, typically a variety of games. I also have a community Discord you can join. I pop in sometimes to chat and say what's up. Just the other night, I was actually playing Rocket League with some viewers and streaming it to the actual Discord chat lobby. Those links will be in the description. I appreciate your time dearly. If you enjoyed the video, it would mean the world to me. If you subscribed, if you haven't already, if you do me one last favor before you go and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. In the name of Jesus, I do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.